Hello fellow bass players, Steve Kim here in Seattle, Washington. Like many of us, I'm on hold because of the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. And if you're listening to me and you've lost work because of that, I'm very sorry to hear that. And I hope you're still healthy, but there is a small uh, upside to that. And that means you have some time on your hands. So perhaps this might help you use that time to work on a few things. So I'd like to talk about some alternative looks for scales that take you up the fingerboard. And if we just take the C major scale that everyone's familiar with, that of course is a three string form and I'm gonna call that string cross, string cross, or cross, cross for short. So the rule we wanna remember is that a shift can replace a string cross. So cross, cross can be cross, shift. And the only thing we have to remember is before you make the shift, shut the bass off by muting it. And then you can continue to play the bass like so. So, or, and of course we can have, instead of cross cross or cross shift, we can have shift cross. That's again a shift, cross. And then if you wanted to, of course, cross, cross can be turned into shift, shift. So in closing, we have cross, cross. That's the scale form most of us are familiar with that can turn into cross, shift, and remember to mute the bass before you shift, or shift, cross, or if you'd like, shift, shift. Now any scale can be broken down into these four different looks. And the implication is, for example, that you can make two octave scales from anywhere. So remember, two octave scales are simply a composite of two one octave forms. And that could be the major scale or natural minor or Dorian or whatever scale that you know in one octave. Okay. It's nice being with you. Thanks. I hope you can have some a little fun with those scales. And uh, everyone st stay well.